Good morning, everybody. Um, today I'm going to do a video on how to use a file that I posted last night on our website, svgfilesfree.com. And this was actually a mystery file that I put up there, and it was a few roses that you can use to make different things in your projects. So we're going to make something similar to what's on screen, but I'm going to start from scratch. So let me get rid of this. All right, you're logged into your design space and you've clicked on create a new project and you're going to go over here to upload and you can see I've already uploaded the file, but you would click on upload image and then save it and then you would select the file, insert the images. And this is a bigger file, so you got to give it a minute. <clears throat> There it is. Let's get it up here where we can see it. I'm actually going to try to make this a little bit smaller just so it's easier to work with right now. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is make sure my image is selected and I'm going to ungroup everything. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to get rid of everything I know I'm not going to use just because it saves time on the program itself rendering. So let's get rid of that. I'm not going to use that one. I'm not going to use that. And for right now, we're not going to use this. And I'm not going to use the ones with stems on them. Okay, so this is what I have to work with. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this just so I can see it better. It helps me. You don't have to do this. And I'm going to do the stems first. And this one. Let's see, I need to flip that. I want my stems going the right way. I'm going to barely put that on top of that. Oops. Let's get this bigger here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, you can see that I'm touching the stem right there. And now I'm going to select both of those and I'm going to weld that. And then I'm going to, let's see, let's take this one. It really doesn't matter so much on these leaves because they're all pretty much the same. I mean, they're a tiny bit different, but some have the white in them and some do not. I'm going to put this up a little bit higher. Oh, let's see, I don't, see how that leaf is overlapping? I don't want that. Oh, that's the little thorn. Okay. I'm going to weld that. Now, if you want to put more leaves on there, you can. That's fine. It's up entirely up to you. I'm going to turn this sideways. Because that's how my items actually going to be. I'm going to come up here and grab one of these roses. Bring it down. And I'm going to turn that. Whoops. I see what I didn't do. I need to group this first. Now I'm not going to touch the stem, and the reason being is I'm going to keep the roses a separate color. The leaves and stem can all be green, but I want to keep the roses red, so eventually those are going to be a different color. Keep that just like that. 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to group that for now, and then I'm going to duplicate that. And then I'm going to turn this. Let's put that right about. Oh, let's do. It doesn't want to cooperate today. I'm turning that because I don't want that rose to touch that stem. group that again and I'm only going to click on the two stems because I want to weld those and I probably better group this rose because I don't oh no I did group that okay we're good <coughs> excuse me all right now let's go get our other rose here I'm gonna that's grouped so we're good Come down here and we're gonna turn it sideways and I think let me get another leaf here so I have two make them a little bit smaller to weld that with the other stems. Oh, I think I just welded it all. I guess I welded that all. Okay. Now, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of part of this that we don't want. And I don't know how familiar everyone is with using the slice tool. Right now, we're going to use it kind of like an eraser. And I don't want this part of the stem. So I'm going to put the circle over it, select both of them, and I'm going to hit slice. And you can see the part that it got rid of, because that's highlighted there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the circle. Now I'm going to delete that piece that was under it. 
And you might, there you go, you might have to do it a couple of times. And you can see I didn't get rid of all of it. So um, I'm not gonna put another rose there. So let me do another circle. And again, I'm kind of just using this as an eraser. Slice it. Delete, because we don't need those pieces. I'm getting there. So for right now, we're going to leave that as it is. That'll work. I may put another rose down there. We'll see. Alright, so this is all welded together. We're going to make that green. <clears throat> and if you're going to make your roses all the same color, you don't have to go through coloring each little piece because that's what's going to happen. Um, we can go ahead and we can get rid of these pieces because I'm not going to use them. And let's get this back down to where we can all right let's group that and let's make this let's just leave it right there that looks good 
Now maybe we want to put another rose in there. Let's duplicate that. And Just doesn't want to play nice today. All right, let's leave it like that. And I'm going to select all the roses and I want to attach those. That didn't work. I'm going to turn that off. And we're going to select all of these and we're going to attach them. And then we're going to go back. And we're going to turn that back on. Right now, maybe you want to put some words up in here or use this as some sort of border, but you get the idea on how to use the file. Let's go to make it and see how we did. There's your first mat. And there's your second mat. So... You can play around with this and do all kinds of roses and vines and um, this was just a really quick little video showing you how to use some of the different tools in here to manipulate these images and uh, I hope you have fun with it. Thanks.